Hi friends! Today I'm going to disassemble the engine from my Volvo 340. For those of you that haven't watched my previous video, I've blown my head gasket and the piston rings were kind of bad. So I decided to pull this engine and rebuild it. I'm going to start now by taking off the bell housing so I can put this engine on the engine stand. Almost forgot I have to remove my starter motor first. Gotta remove the clutch as well. So now we can finally put the engine on the stand. I don't have a bolt that's long enough to go through this hole. So I'm going to hang the engine with just three bolts and hopefully that will work, but I'm pretty sure it will. Now that the engine's on the stand, I can Go and remove all the parts surrounding the engine. I did take a lot of pictures. So hopefully when I put everything back together, I can see where everything goes because I've never worked on this car or any similar car before. <laughs> so this is a fun project. By the way, I'm not removing these parts in any specific order. I just started by removing the ignition and the coolant hoses because those were the easiest to reach. After that, I just tried to remove all parts from one side of the engine and then work my way around. Luckily, this engine doesn't have any complicated parts attached to it, so everything was pretty easy to remove. Look at that cute little engine, it's so small. Now let's remove the valve cover and the cylinder head so we can see the pistons. I think it's funny how this is attached with just three bolts, but that was easy. <laughs> Just wanted to give you guys a better view. I have no clue how this works. I think I gotta release these bolts. So that's what I'm going to try, but I'm not sure. That worked. Now it's time to remove the cylinder head bolts. I'm going to try and use a normal ratchet first. So hopefully these aren't too tight. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought.
Just take a look at that poor thing. <laughs> Nasty. Let's get rid of the old head gasket as well. And then I'm going to turn the engine so I can remove the oil sump. Now let's remove the oil sump real quick and then we can get to the end caps of the pistons. All right, I moved the engine a bit so we're under the lamp and we can see it better. We can finally see the end caps of the piston. I'm going to turn the engine a bit so these pistons are on the top and then I'm going to release these bolts and we can take the pistons out. I almost forgot, but I don't want these things, I don't know what you call them in English, I, would, I don't want these to get out. So I'm using a bolt and this ring to keep them in place when I'm tapping the piston from the other side. Now let's turn the crankshaft another 180 degrees and then we can get to the last two pistons. Yay! One more to go. Okay, before I can disconnect the end cap of my last piston, I gotta remove this filter thingy. <laughs> I, I don't know how to call it in English again. Um, so I'm going to remove this one and then we can remove the last piston. And that's it. All the pistons are out, so now I can replace the piston rings. I didn't remove the crankshaft because I'm not sure if I'm going to replace the crankshaft bearings or not, so I'll think about that this week. I'll get back here later this week to get everything nice and clean before I'm going to rebuild this engine. Uh, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!